I mean, maybe it's a plus that I haven't been using my monthly log considering how many things keep getting cancelled, but... Hello again team, it's Jess or Jashi Karin, and welcome back from my April 2020 plan with me. As can be expected, in today's video I am setting up for the month coming, but before we get into that, as per usual, we'll be having a look at how this month went. So as you'll remember from my last monthly plan with me video, for March my theme was dream catches. So we had my quote and splash page. My monthly log, which beyond setting it up at the start of the month, didn't really get a lot of use. My habits and mood tracker. My social media scheduler. A page that I didn't set up on camera, but is my March in Review spread. Really, it's just where I could record all of the different media that I was consuming. And after this, we're on to the weeklies. These ones have been going about as successful as last month's did as well, so that's to say not very. But I do like the way they look. So we have the first and second week, the third, then after this I put in a meal plan, which you can see half got used, and then this is where the fourth week is going to be. In terms of this page here, this one I made as part of a video on how to draw dream catches. Turning over to set up next month though, as per usual, any of the equipment I use in today's setup is linked in the description box below. Let's get into it. Starting with my quote page for April, and you guys could probably expect something like this was coming, I picked a quote that I felt was pretty fitting for everything that's going on in the world at the moment. This one says, It is how we embrace uncertainty in our lives that leads to the great transformations of our souls. Things are pretty crazy at the moment, and I know that a lot of people are dealing with some genuinely challenging times. The uncertainty that goes along with everything that's happening, and then also the anxiety or fear that goes along with that, is and is going to continue to be really hard. Just remember team, you have done hard things and you can do hard things, but it's also okay not to be okay. My love and best thoughts go out to anybody who is struggling at the moment. I hope you and those who are close to you are well and that we can all return to a bit of normalcy soon. In terms of my setup for April though, my theme is bamboo. Coincidentally, my theme for last April was green and plant related as well, but my choice for bamboo this year was for two main reasons. One, I really want to do an autumn theme in May, and I know for that I'm going to want to use a lot of reds and oranges. So I wanted to pick a colour palette for April that was going to be distinctly different from both March and May. And two, while I was looking for inspiration on Pinterest, I came across a really cool little video that shows you how to draw simple bamboo. So I wanted to use that in my setup. I did make my bamboo a little bit more complex by using black outlining, but I really love how straightforward it was to get something that roughly looked like bamboo. I personally think that the outlining somewhat elevates the overall look, but it did certainly also make the process a lot more time consuming. From the first touch of the pen to the final erasing of any pencil work, the full setup for this month took me just over three hours. As I've done in some of my previous monthly setups, and I know you guys said that you appreciated this as well, I've been trying to make sure I share how long it actually takes me to set up these spreads, because the time lapse can be a little bit misleading, and I think it's good to remember that a lot of these spreads do take a fair bit of time. In terms of decoration, and outside of the leafy bamboo, something a bit different I did with this setup was include borders on each page. These were just done with a Tombow dual brush marker by putting a fragmented line of colour down the side of each page and then outlining the edges of each fragment again with that Tombow. This was super quick and easy, but I think it just added a nice decorative element that was still in keeping with the theme. With all the outlining done, the cover page was finished and it was on to my monthly log. For April, I wanted to try using a calendar style layout which spans the full spread. This means that I have the Thursday column for my calendar going across both pages, but hopefully this doesn't prove to make recording my events too difficult. 
I think I've come to the conclusion that I do prefer the calendar layout monthly rather than the vertical style, but it's just a shame that the spacing in the Archer and Olive doesn't make it easier to accommodate for the boxes that I deem big enough to write in. Because each of my calendar boxes was 35 by 35 centimeters, this didn't leave a lot of room for decoration. So I just put one of those simple bamboo borders down each side of the spread, and then added a little bit more decoration when it came to the numbering for each day of the month. For those ones, I just drew in a small leaf using a Tombow and then wrote the number for the day of the month over the top. Up next was my mood tracker and gratitude log. For my mood tracker, I sketched out six sticks of bamboo, which each have five segments. This gives me 30 segments in total, so one for each day of the month. For any of the extra segments, for instance the caps at the top of each stick and the parts coming from the page title, these I coloured in grey just so that then when the month is all filled in, the only colours on my bamboo are for my moods. Looking back on this one, it certainly isn't my favourite page. I probably could have added in some leaves as decoration and possibly used a thicker pen when doing the outlining for the bamboo but I'm interested to see what it looks like come the end of April, and maybe I'll feel a little better about it when it's all filled in. The gratitude log is something I haven't used in a while. Well, at least in this form. In January, I did a line a day style gratitude log, but for this one, it's just an open page that whenever I'm feeling grateful for something, I can put it down here. This style allows me to be a little bit more creative and use doodles and different styles of lettering, which I do really enjoy. And it also means that I don't have to write something for every single day of April, even if that is the goal in general. As you guys likely know, I've been having a hard time getting into my journal over the past few months. This mainly started at the end of January when I was going back for term one. And although it's been something like nine weeks since then, I'm still finding it hard to get motivated. I'm hoping that bringing back spreads that I've enjoyed previously, like the gratitude log, or trying something new like the productivity tracker I'm drawing out here, will help me get back into the swing of things. In terms of this productivity tracker, the idea for this one came from the Booster Journal, who calls this the productivity level board. There's a link in the description box to the video he explains that in, but you guys may have also seen this from Elise of Miss McKenna's Life Leverage as well. The general gist is that you set up a bunch of icons to represent the different things that you can do that are productive, and then at the end of the day, you fill in the boxes with the icons of the tasks that you completed. At the end of the month, this essentially gives you an overview of how productive you were on each day, based on the number of boxes you filled in. That's probably a pretty vague explanation, but if you wanted more detail, for sure do go and check out the Booster Journals video. He goes into a lot more detail with how it works. This is going to be the first time that I've used something like this, so at this stage I don't have any icons set up, but I've made myself a half page Dutch door here to house my key so that I know what my icons mean if I ever look back on this spread. If you guys had any ideas for things that I could put in my productivity log, or thoughts about what you'd put in yours if you had one, I would love to hear about them. Please feel free to drop your ideas or thoughts in the comments. My next spread was for my habits and steps trackers. Back to basics with these ones, so just using a simple grid where I can color in each cell depending on whether I completed the habit or achieved that many steps. I know that when I fill this one out, I'm going to be doing an alternating color order for the habits, so either with each consecutive day in a different color, or each consecutive habit. For the steps tracker, I'm going to be filling in each step bracket with a different color, so ranging from yellow for 0 to 2000 steps, through to my darker green for 8000 to 10,000. I hope that makes sense, so essentially what I'll have is, if on a day I walked 7000 steps, I would have 0 to 2000 in yellow, 2,000 to 4,000 in the lighter yellow, 4,000 to 6,000 in the lime green, and then 6,000 to 7,000 in the light green. Yet again, this is another instance of me setting up a step tracker where I really should have put the numbers at the top directly over a line, 
but instead put them in the middle of a column. It's a bit unfortunate, but I know what it means, so it's not the end of the world. Another one of those instances where trying to fix the mistake would really just draw more attention to it than just leaving it there. Line work finished, on to my social media and what I'm calling my Regzy Media page. It's really just a memories page, which is similar to the one I had back in March, but for this one I've made it have six boxes, so one for TV shows, games, books, movies, memorable events, and any other memories. The social media page is the same as usual, with a larger space for my Instagram posting and a smaller one for my YouTube. I'll admit I have gotten really quite slack when it comes to social media in the past month and a bit. In particular, Instagram has suffered. I'm not even sure why, but I've been finding it really difficult to post consistently on there. Hopefully that's something I can address more in the holidays that are coming up in April, but at this stage it's probably not going to get better anytime in the immediate future. For YouTube, while I've been consistent with my Sunday and Monday videos, the Thursday weekly plan with me videos are where I have been struggling. Particularly because I've been just so damn busy and tired when it comes to Thursdays. But also with having the video on Monday now, it kind of feels like too many of my evenings are dedicated to particular tasks. So on Mondays I have my weekly vlog, Tuesdays is our budgeting night, Wednesday is Bujo Wednesday with Rachel, and then Thursday would be my weekly plan with me. But then in amongst all of that stuff, I still have to do all of my regular teaching prep and hopefully also take some time for myself. It's something I need to look into and see what I can do about it, but for now I'm just chopping along. The spread I have here is a before term two to-do list. I figured that for April I'd make myself a master list of things to work on so that when term two starts I'll be ready to roll. I'm pretty dang pleased with how my setup for the month coming turned out. In particular I am excited to use some different spreads and I really like the vibrancy of this colour palette. As always I would love to hear what your theme for the month of April is. If you felt like sharing please do drop that in the comments below. For the final flip through, we have my quote and splash page, my monthly log, my mood tracker and gratitude log, productivity tracker with the little key in the center, my habits and steps trackers, my social media page and my media or memories page and then a to-do list for before term two. Thank you for watching team. If you liked today's video, please do make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you wanted to see more from me, feel free to go check out one of my other videos. Until next time, bye.